Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your next session of Group Therapy. I am King Bear in the building. Michelle K. And I'm a true sicker guy. So, we're going to get right into it. So, you guys ready? Yes, I am. All right. Without further ado, let's get to it. Thing we're talking about with leaders is if you go to group therapy and this is something that I emphasize no two group leaders are necessarily going to lead group in the same way is there a difference between men and women being whores like we we all know that you know we we kind of put the the label on women being whores but can men be whores I say yes. Oh, you say yes? Because we were talking about it offline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go with the code <laughs> switching. He said no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Women, women, women. Because they did. Oh, okay. But I don't think they would. Men don't want to be called whores. I mean, we don't you, you think women want to be called? <laughs> no, but the word was intended originally, historically, directed as a, from a man to women mm -hmm. as being whores. And ladies of the night, and what else is that? Uh, <laughs> you know, harlots, and no, uh, we call them, uh, what's the other one? You just gotta get all the verbs out there. Huh? You. The yeah. difficult one, that difficult one from uh, Jezebel. Jezebel, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the other one is another one. Uh, not Harlots. Um, yeah, I think Harlots would fit. Concubines. Concubines. That's when you have more than one wife in there. Yeah. Well, something but, like that. Something like that. But then that would be like Kingdom Solomon. Yeah. Yeah. But then that would be. Solomon and all of them. Yeah, so the concubines would be the wives themselves. Right. The okay. Wives. So. Like a harem. Like you have a harem of women. <laughs> but so that, you don't think, or do you think that that can be reversed? Can that be, can a man be in a situation where a woman has a bunch of husbands and that be okay? I mean, that's the new thing now, right? That's, it's that's trying the, to be. What's it called? Polygamy? It's uh, trying to poly, be? Polyamorous. Well, Polyamorous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's yeah, but that's always been around. It's yeah. just, but I'm saying, is it fair to be the other way? Yeah. So you're saying the action, or you're talking about the, order, yeah. uh, the, the verb, the, the, the word, or the action itself? Well, I was talking about just the word and the the implications of using the word. You know, can is it is it okay for men to allow themselves to be called a whore if it was by women and so, we accept it I've heard with the many, same connotation that women have been forced to accept it? Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Because if you call a woman a whore, it's automatically assumed right. she slept with a whole bunch yeah. of guys in a bad light right but so, for us traditionally it's been if a guy sleeps with a bunch of women he's a champion mm -hmm. so i've heard many other talk ho talk hosts talk on this topic and you know people in general you know you hear people talk about it and um i don't want to use the guy i don't know i don't want to use it on this channel i'm mean, on our podcast the person's name it was like a champ out there for knowing saying Women are the whores and men are the whore makers. I, I don't believe I don't I don't like that phrase, but it's typically in the most average man's head to know that a woman is the one who becomes the so-called that name versus, versus a man being that because you're the receiver of the men, you know, uh, during penetrate, you know, during sex intercourse. So the woman is receiving the man. <laughs> No, I'm just saying, like, Did I look let, confused? A little bit, but <laughs> let him cook. Man, let, let's see where you go. Okay, so Lay the plane, brother. So having, when you have intercourse, mm -hmm. right, man, the woman is receiving the man's penetration, right? I didn't want to get too nasty. Okay, okay. No, 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 you're good. We grown around So, here. knowing that, um, the word is put out there because the more women have sex with a male, they're saying the woman, um, the energy of the woman changes, per se, right? Not the man, because the man is the one giving the energy to the woman, that energy, that sexual energy. And, and also the, 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 
the semen and the sperm is being released and the hormones are going. Pheromones is what a woman has, right? So the woman adapts to that one man without, the, a woman who doesn't have many women. I mean, that's the woman that. <laughs> the woman that doesn't have many men. men. Okay. When you have one partner, takes on that specific energy and over time, that energy, I forgot what it's called right now, but you know, the woman I heard specifically technically keeps that energy for seven years. So hmm. over time, I think in older civilization, you know, when you break the hymen and all of that, and in, in the Jewish community, in, in the Hebrew, you know, the Israelites when they were doing that, that was the uh, what's that called again? That was the uh, what's the word I want to use? That was the convocation, or no, 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 um, the, uh, that's the symbol of marriage. Like when you break the hymen, and mm. they know that because the the woman they used to put a cloth over the woman to know that she was a virgin, and her chastity was kept. And when she bled, they know that okay, she was never a whore, or she wasn't a harlot. You know, a woman who was going around having sex with other different men. And then they can they know who the woman is. Uh, excuse me, they know who the child of that baby is, knowing that you had that sex with that one woman. But if she has sex with many different women, I mean, I can't many, many different men. Yeah, we got then, you. Then she's considered to be that name. The man is not considered to be that, that name. Because the man is not really... I mean, I don't think you guys are champion as a man because you have a sexual women. But that image is not given to the man because we're the ones producing the babies. We're creating the population of people. I mean, I think from these older thousands of years ago, they realized that. And they, they the woman was sacred to preserve and, and to be, you know, non-promiscuous. So over the years and thousands of years later, these generations of people in these populations and these nations that came up, they heard, they they held that sacred sex and you know the whole uh, image of keeping a woman as a virgin and your daughter giving her away to certain tribes and certain other nations. They had courtship for that. They had uh, dowries like, oh, you know, you can take my daughter only if you give. You know, you you got to work at doing that, which is you have to have. Two horses and bring us two goats <laughs> for the exchange of my daughter. You know, so with knowing all of that, I think that stigma is deeper than just the name. So it's specific for women, not men. What? <laughs> what, do you, what, what, what do you think about any of that? <laughs> It was deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm not sure because I'm still trying to understand what you what he was really going with it. But I understand you saying back then it was different. People couldn't distinguish the thoughts from the, you know, the homemakers, you know, the uh, wives and stuff like right. that. But I don't know. I think men, it should be no different just because the men are having sex with the women. Um... A women having sex with men more than the men are, but it's just everybody gonna have a body count because you start from a young age, you done went through a lot of people. So to me, why does that matter? You know, you, you don't. I didn't know I was gonna meet you 20 years later. So who, you know, I could have saved myself. I could have got married 10 years before then to somebody and saved myself for him. That don't mean I'm no whore because now I'm marrying somebody 20 years later and they like how many people you would been with? Been with a lot way before you because I didn't know you was you was going to be around like so I don't know they that expectation to me is kind of crazy on the numbers you know okay numbers numbers. so for me I kind of I hear where you were kind of going with that guy uh, I'm a little you know I I, I I get the whole patriarchal thing of, of how things are and I hate saying it that way because I'm sure somewhere there are feminists like cheering, thinking, yes, he's one of us. And I'm so far from that. But I don't think it's the type of thing, for me personally, I don't think it's the type of thing where, like what Michelle K was saying as well, 
I don't think it's the type of thing where the male's body count gets excluded just because what you were saying where his energies aren't the body count doesn't count on him because he's the one giving the energies and things of that nature because if he's delving into a female then he can very he can pull out the same energies that he's putting in in my head you know what i'm saying um just as we release if you want to make it into semen versus non-semen i i that's kind of a that's the path you want to take but for me it's like well you know what you know females have juices just as well and they leave them on us just as we leave them on them that's the reason why humans are able to pass sexually transmitted diseases back and forth like we don't just implant diseases in the women and then they get stuck there see because if a woman gets something from a man and then she sleeps with another man she could pass it to him so there is an exchange so the the bodies matter <laughs> is, is what i'm basically trying to get to um <clears throat> so in saying that um going into the spill of you know testing for hymens and seeing who's a virgin versus who isn't just on that part that portion of what you're saying so at what point does a woman become a whore because say okay so you a woman is a virgin and like Michelle K says, she gets married, she sleeps with somebody, and then that marriage doesn't work. But she's been faithful to that one person. And say, God forbid, that person passes on or whatever, and then she seeks another husband. Is she now considered a whore because her hymen's gone? She's no longer a virgin, but she's only slept with one person, and that person was her husband. So now is she like damaged goods for life just because she has one body on her? And how do you de how where do you determine where whoredom comes from? You know what I'm saying? Where's the where's the line? How how many people can men or women get before you're like you are now a whore? Congratulations. Because yeah. it can't be two. But is it two hundred? I mean. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? We, that's a, I mean, good points, but see, we live in a society that's, um, we call it uh, Christian, Christianized, right? The Western world, yeah, it's mostly Christian. Western, yeah. The Islamic, per se, or Judaic. Judaic um, is fair, yeah. So, but there's Judaic and Islamic that's, you know, also um, heavily uh, in the Middle East or, you know, uh, in, in Africa itself. Um, or Western Europe, or, e or Eastern Europe. I mean, um, Southeast Asia, I should say, what I meant to say, that all those regions that has those other religions outside of Christianity, they practice a certain principle according to what the Bible is saying, which is saving yourself before, um, you know, for your husband. Right. And uh, a man is supposed to take a woman and cleave unto her and that whole thing. Right. You know, um, as your wife. So. But well, we got that. But what happens of, after that? Right. So that, that rule sets the standard in mm -hmm. Muslim societies where today in the modern day Christianity or followers of Christianity, most people are not following these old school rules or these old, older um, principles as much in today's world. So there's options now to say, I could be born again, virgin. You know what I mean? Like a lot of women say that, I'm a born again virgin. Like I haven't had sex in 20, 15, 10 years. And they're trying to follow the scriptures or what it's, the scriptures are telling them for why they are um, compromising, not compromising, but they're, um, you know, they feel that it's, Yeah, but their feelings are a reality at that point. Right. And that's if I feel I'm no longer a virgin or I'm a virgin now, it doesn't make you a virgin. It just yeah. makes you feel that right, way. Right, because you're not a virgin. You're right. not. <laughs> <laughs> so no matter how many years you go without doing it. Yeah, it's gone. Right. No so, getting coming back. But, which, so which, that's why, the, that's why uh, a lot of these uh, 
branches of churches, or excuse me, um, religions, they made it law, like a code that they followed in their customs of how they, you know, train their daughters or raise, not train, or raise their daughters and raise their family to become husbands and wives. So in that society, which is not really pumped in our Western world that much, it's, it's not like looked upon as sacred anymore. Right. So but, that's why, um, you know, today we can say, well, you know, um, I don't see the problem with body count after a while. Because we, we, we're comfortable with a lot of, I don't want to call it debauchery, but most <laughs> religious people would call it that. I can say it's okay to have body count because, you know, I, those, those relationships will work out. So I could be able to be 30 years old now and have 10 bodies behind me <laughs> or 20 bodies. And, and move on to the next and not worry about the body count. But then what are you supposed to do about that? Well, put a gun in your mouth and end it? Like, I mean, once it's done, it's done, right? Yeah, it's done. It's done. So then what? You, you, you're you trash now? No, you I'm guys saying, what makes it a bad thing? Right. It's, it's, like, what do you, what do you, the only thing that makes it unworthy is the belief system. Right. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying bad or good or indifferent. You know, towards body count. I'm just saying that biologically, and if it's if it's if it's not, uh, con, you know, conducive to keep doing stuff like that, it's gonna keep hurting your body and it's to damage your body. I think it's better to reserve yourself as a woman, personally. Hey, but you're not a woman. But I wouldn't want my daughter, you know what I mean? If I, had, I don't have a daughter, I have a son, but if I had a daughter. Right. Yeah, I mean, it would be more. You wouldn't want her to, but then you wouldn't mind if your son didn't preserve himself. Yeah. I would rather him also to do so, do as such. Mm-hmm. Okay. But would you hold him to the same standard of, oh, uh, so it doesn't look good if you don't? If you don't what? Preserve yourself. Yeah, I would, I would, I would do that. You would hold him to the same standard? Yes. So if your son had 10 bodies, you would look down upon him like you would if your daughter had 10 bodies. I'll be disappointed. Because mm-hmm. I, I can't just look at my daughter and say, oh, you know, oh, you're wrong, and you did wrong. And then say, okay, good good work, homeboy, you know, to my son. Yeah, you did great. You know, you got 10 bodies. But to my daughter, tell her, you know, she's doing, you know, shame her, and she's wrong for that. and It's the worst thing ever as a female to do, do such, but then... It'd be double standard to not mm. tell my son that. Yeah. That's the point. So, so then, personally, I would. So after ten me. bodies, is she a whore? But today's whore is not yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't asking what day is she a whore. In your eyes today, today's would she be a whore? Whore is not yesterday. Okay. okay. In today's definition, because we talking about today. <laughs> if you're gonna talk about, you know, like the, So is the, he a whore? Yeah. Uh, in a sense, but I wouldn't call him a whore because <laughs> that's a female He's lying. <laughs> that's a female's name no, characteristic. I mean that, maybe that's that's, that's what we get into. I mean if you look at the how, how is that a female characteristic? Men didn't call you're a male whore. I mean they, they can't call me a whore. Yeah, but that wasn't the word given to men. Well, why not? But, That's a good question. That's a historical question that we need to... Again, need to feminist cheer. Because in a patriarchal society, men were not going to disparage themselves mm-hmm. when they were doing things that were not going to be considered fair or equal. So, men could go out and do it, but women can't. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what it boils down to. So I don't even think it's a religious thing because religion is based on whoever's in power deciding what gets said. Well, customs create religion. I mean, yeah. You know, so and so if you got customs, you so whoever is the powerful leader, which happens to be men, mm-hmm. decide. Okay, here's the rules. Let's all get together and decide. We as men, it's good for us to sleep with a bunch of women because we're sowing our 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 seed. But if women do that, they're whores. Well, yeah, they, they were looked at as wrong. Well, whoredom was not really your daughter that's nice and it didn't work out with the husband and 
she's barren. Every now. woman is somebody's daughter, dude. No, I'm saying <laughs> the word whore was projected as, as those women who were selling their body, per se, or mm-hmm. using their body to <clears throat> reap a benefit. And not, you know, not because they're trying to have a child or they're having, you know, relations with their husbands. That's why I keep. I keep going back to so, that. So then, by that very definition, then men absolutely can be whores. And it's not a word attached to women. Because men literally, we do that shit all the time. Yeah. We literally mm-hmm. have sex for profit of our own mm-hmm. self. All the time. Yeah. But the <laughs> word, I keep they're, going back they're to that but. Right, but. They're that but. It, we, we're not literally that word. Why? Why? Because that word is wasn't given. To it doesn't. Who? Why? Who determined to get to give out that word to somebody? Who decided that? That's a good question. <laughs> you gotta look it up. <laughs> you gotta dig it, do the research. Where did that word come from? Much more than who? Why? Why? Why is it only attached to Figures. women and not well, everybody? The the men they had brothels and all of that back in the days. And, of course, uh, and, and pleasure zones for men. Right. Those women were not women getting married to a man, having husbands. That's gaslighting. I'm saying those women were not specifically going home to their husbands. Yeah, but that's gaslighting. What you're doing right now is gaslighting. I'm what you're saying, literally saying is the those word, the word those places they were call it that. Right. You guys are whores. Right, but that was They're created whoredom. by they men say, so that men can have pleasure zones to go to. But what you're doing right now is blaming women. No, I'm not. Bl- I'm not blaming. I'm saying th- that's how it was. The, you know, <laughs> defined. What are you doing? They defined those women. Who yes. Were practicing that. Because that's what were, men wanted. We're doing, wh- right. you know, practicing whoredom. Because men wanted they whores. Were, they weren't, we weren't doing. Well, I never said women. that men don't want whores. I'm just saying the women, the men who was pointing fingers and saying this is what it is and that's what this is, right? Those were the people of society who they were family men or they were supposedly <laughs> husbands, right? Uh-huh. Different from those the women, you know, or the men that were looking that were that were freely getting sex, that were not married most of the time. There wasn't really majority men who were married looking for women that are whores. They have their no, husbands. No. They had their wives. You, you remember David in the Bible, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. You, you know that story? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was king, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and what did he do? He had like a brothel going on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he? Did he? And he was king. He was he was married, right? He wasn't a single king, right? Well, polygamy that's enough. That's you bring it. <laughs> polygamy was used. Now I got no, a whole other title to it. No, but that's what, exactly. And that's what they do. <laughs> you went from hordism to polygamy. No, no how y'all gonna, as a man, it's like you pacify what men doing, but y'all broadcast I'm women not, as a I'm whore. Not, like I'm not, I'm not, moving the goalposts. I'm not pacifying a man in polygamy because I don't even want to do. Poly- I wouldn't even promote polygamy. No, but you're place. pacifying a man and whoredom by giving right. him a title that's better in right. that state. He's practicing whoredom, yes, but he's not a whore. Why? You can't be a whore. Why? A male can't be a whore. Why? why? Look it up. No. <laughs> you know family, so you tell me why. You are Gav the truth seen, seeker. So I give us the truth. Well, I gotta look for it. <laughs> we are ignorant. <laughs> oh, me and Michelle K are the ignorance of right. the room. Right. You need to educate us, please. Right, I don't because I don't I don't either. I don't know how one side of the coin can be something and the other side can't, but the side that can't is literally interacting with that side that can exactly. in the same way. Yep. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't Whoredom is a noun that has multiple definitions. One is sexual intercourse for pay. Uh huh. Unworthy. Does it say men or women on that? Unworthy debasing practices. <laughs> Idolatry. All right, all of these are what for uh, the practice of having sexual intercourse with a sex, with, excuse me, with sex work with a sex worker, worker or prostitution. So, uh, Did you hear men or women yet? Hear that okay, yet. No. I, I hear Look, that. synonymous, synonymous of with women. Boredom, you gonna throw it in there? What? <laughs> harlotry and prostitution. Uh huh. And it started with women doing. Well, it does not say that in there at all. It don't say nothing about 
Well, women, women did this first, so this they sleep with three, four. No, they saying that's a broad question. It's a noun, a noun. Not not singular. I mean, it's that's a noun. You, that, that was your definition, brother. You looked that one up. You, you should have went to the 1945 <laughs> encyclopedia or dictionary and looked that up. You should have looked into modern day. Because the modern day is going to be very people friendly and not. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to make you look bad on that one. So I. I, <laughs> I got to agree with Michelle K on this one, man. I, I think men absolutely can be and are whores. I just think there's, because male dominated society has made it where saying that to us shouldn't be a thing, but by the very definition, yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, just falling back on, well, men can't be because historically, that's just not what you called us, so you can't be. So they call it polygamy. Yeah. Okay, we still want to be whores, but we can't call ourselves that because we've already destroyed women for being that. Right. So we got to come up with another term that means the same thing but sounds better. Oh, it does say, it said, whores have sex for money. It is a gender neutral term. Mm. Whore or prostitute, a person in particular, a woman who engages sex <laughs> <laughs> they don't say no woman. You do that. When, when you are ready, you are ready. <laughs> that's one step away from Wikipedia, bro. You, that's just people writing what they want to write. I get you. I mean, it's it's, it's really a controversial word because mm-hmm. yeah, whoredom in the Bible was people who were wickedly acting wicked. In in one sense, and and then it specifically was saying the women who were selling their body, not men per se. It always because yeah, this is this whole book Bible that we read. It's a male, it's a matriarch book. It's it's written by a man. Excuse me, matriarch. Yeah. No word. No word. Patriarch. It's a patriotic type. Patriarch. Patriarchal. Yeah. Work. Type of a book. Yeah. Male dominated writers. And even the books that we found that were written by women, we have slandered, discredited, and burned and got rid of. Because we're a male dominated society and we don't want that shit out there. Well, the Catholic book still has a book of Ezra, the book of Esther. I got it out. There are a few. So there are a few. Are but books. even but even when you read those books, those books aren't really shining on Women, they're shining on those women as individuals. Like they're saying, those women are special, one of one. You know, so they're so special that we had to write about them. They're not speaking of, hey, this is a trip into womanhood. You see what I'm saying? And that's the problem with this Christian Christianity religion uh, being. So preserved as one of the pristine religions in the world because it's the most dominated, it's the most populated religion beyond Islam. Islam is the second fastest growing religion in the world. But my whole point is, all that Christian history comes from the the Metu Netters in the Book of the Dead and the Book of um, the Coffin Texts. If you guys know what I'm talking about, when you go to the pyramid, it's all written up there. And these were metaphors of what do you call it? Um, um, the transcendence of nature being explained. The male and the female um, personification of nature being explained through humans or human characteristics. But the, 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 what do you call it? The Greeks that took over when they created this whole, the, the, uh, Ptolemy was his name? Was it Ptolemy it? was Ptolemy. one of the philosophers Ptolemy, yeah. at the time. Yeah, but Ptolemy, he came in and basically wanted a, a representation of himself, which was like a Jesus, which they called, uh, what's his name, Serapis. So right. Serapis was the actual character. But you skipped the whole him. Dead Sea Scrolls. I'm saying, though, these guys originally, when they were transcribing most of the Kemetic Egyptian information, mm-hmm. 
they only took the male dominant part of the whole balance of female male personification of nature. Because that whole Isis, Osiris, and Horus mm -hmm. is male and female and child, which is spirit. Just, just the, right. Like, like the Holy Ghost. So, 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 so it's supposed to be male, female, and the Holy Ghost, which is the child reincarnated from Horus. And that's this, that whole story. Right, but those don't make up the Judaic works, though, right? That's um, That just makes up the basis for modern day religion. I, I, I get that, right? Yes, but okay. I'm saying even Judaism, the way kind of hints on the same. They just stay mostly on the matriarchal. Patriarchal. Type of, what are you <laughs> patriarchal. I got you. Side Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not balanced. Right. And when you go into those, um, a lot of those busts, those those um, statues in Egypt right now, and mm -hmm. I think some of them in Sudan too. My whole point is. They slap the woman off of the pedestal. It's only the male that you see on these, um, a lot of the seats that are there. They yeah. Sh they shot a lot of, that's another story, but they shot a lot yeah, of- Yeah, they take the noses the off people. and uh, they destroy a lot of their faces so you can't tell who it is. And a lot of them that they've seen do have feminine features that they've destroyed the faces of. But again, you know- There was a female, I'm sorry to cut you, there was a female emperor, uh, Ramses, what's that name again? Uh, there was Nefertiti, Hatshepsut. and Hatshepsut. then there was Hadrasesis. Hat, 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 <laughs> yeah, it was one of them. I know who you talk about. Um, female uh, uh, king, if you want to say. Yeah. King, but, you know, we, we, we got a little far off in. You know, we, we, we still got a, a time thing we're working with here. That's all good. So, but, so, as far as the whole whoredom thing, so, would you agree that men can be whores? Or are you still on a, nah, they can't. Definition, be. yeah. Because it said it was new. All right, let me tug at the emotional heartstrings. What the. Uh, it feels like I'm about to throw up even saying it. But what do you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you feel men could... <laughs> you don't even People like actually that talk word. like that? Yeah, oh, my do. God. Yeah, they do. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel men could be whores? I don't feel anything on that. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel women can, you're going to stick to that. You have no issue with that one. It's okay. But it's still only because you believe that I men. I have to be biased. I, I, I want to tell the truth. I want to be truthful about it. And it's because of the fact that, well, the fact that you believe that men give the energy and women receive. That's so a it's a one way it. path. That's, well, that's a part of it. When you study the energy of how men gives off certain hormones to women and they stay with it more longer than the male having. The energy of the woman that they had sex with, but she's received the male, the female is receiving the, not only the fluids, but so what if a man doesn't nut in a female? Same thing. You get you pass the fluids and the semen is always passing. But isn't more. a female passing fluids back? Does coochie be wet? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what would be the difference? Like I'm, I'm <laughs> she started laughing. She's messing with me, but no, I'm, I'm I'm just trying to challenge thought on it. So, what would be the difference from a female's fluids transferring back to the male, or is it that that fluid doesn't have energy, or because I'm trying there's to understand certain, where you're going a, with there's it? There's a certain I forgot what it's called. Right now. And you caught me off guard. Let me look it up. So, Michelle, okay, while he looks that up, mm -hmm. would you feel better? If men were called whores and it was accepted in the same connotation that it is with women, yeah, I would. I would because uh, it's that double standard that gets me. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. why do y'all have to keep putting us in this category when y'all are doing it way more than we do? So, you know, who who says we're more right or wrong than you are? You right. Know? So, and y'all have more body counts than we do. Most men will. They more. <laughs> Most men can have a heck of a lot of body count more than women. Mm -hmm. So why do we have to get that status? When it comes to 
um, because you still haven't really hit on it very well. Because I'm, I'm still kind of really interested in knowing at what point, even in in that type of thought process with the whole energy transference, because I kind of brought it up and then we jumped to a different side of the subject. At what level, in your way of thinking, your conceptual processing, does a woman become a whore? After how many bodies? After what type of act? Because, like I said, what if that woman did everything right? Even And it doesn't matter the religion. Whether it's Islamic, whether it's Judaism, whether it's Christianity, Catholicism, whatever. What if she did everything right? She got married and then that husband passed or they divorced because in a lot of a lot of marriages now you can divorce mm -hmm. and she moves on to somebody else. Then yeah, you're not a, you wouldn't be considered a whore according to the Christian, you know, uh, custom, faith and belief and laws that they carry in Judea. And Islam? Islam is the same way. But, okay. Um, so what if a woman did that 10 times? They're looked upon as, um, <laughs> it, it depends. Like, Housewife whores. <laughs> right. See, that's why they created certain laws, especially in Islam. They got, like, specific laws that, because a lot of these nations, they were preserving um, the woman to carry on the next generation. And, you know, young girls were looked upon as very sacred as a virgin, you know, to a certain point, but they would, they would, at certain ages now, you become like barren, you know, barren means that you can't bear children. Yeah. And they would shun them. In a certain society, they shun these people. In India, it's practice, even today. Yeah, but that's not what we're um, talking about again. So, getting back to the point, <laughs> is... If you're marrying, divorcing, marrying, in certain like nations, they still practice the custom that it's not looked upon good, and it's not. There has to be a reason why you're trying to get divorced from this guy. But well, what if they just die? She if just they die, then that's a different category. Ten times. It's what a different she category. She a black widow. <laughs> <laughs> the widow. They they say the 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 brother-in-law of that widow is supposed to marry and take care of that woman. Only in certain cultures. Right, if she has um, children to be taken care of and stuff like that. But cultures. she, so she wouldn't be considered a whore? No. So, the, the line is drawn, it's not about how much sex you have, per right. se. Okay. It's about how many men outside of this one man that you're supposed to be married to or you're supposed to be bound to. If you break that bond or that bound, that, you know, that, that, that marriage, then they consider to be, oh, you're, you're promiscuous, you're a whore. You're, you're, you're practicing whoredom. You see how whoredom. crazy that is, though? Yeah. Because once you get into, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to definitely get on the yeah. polygamy versus monogamy. I would love to bring up these You know, because... Stating if you it, it's once great, you right, get but it's, yeah, but once you get into it, then it's like the the very thing you're talking about. If a man's in a poly, uh, poly what's that, what's the yeah the new word? If he's in a relationship that's based in polygamy, uh -huh. he's literally doing the thing that you're talking about. And the other thing, polyamorous. Because that's the new word. yeah, that's the word, polyamorous. polyamorous. So literally, what's happening is the thing that you're talking about. If she stays bonded with him, mm -hmm. then she's well. But if it's a polyamorous relationship, she's staying bonded with him, but he's bonded with her mm -hmm. and this wife and this wife and this wife and this wife. So even though he might be married or bonded to those four or five, right. he wouldn't get a title of whore. Right. Mm -hmm. But if she goes out now and go have sex with all these other dudes or 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 create or, or go with a uh, uh, what's that called uh, another harem she would be considered to be now if she's trying to make money out of it I should say she would be considered to be a whore well that's a well okay 
I, I'm, I'm relating the fact that man has made a law yep. to distinguish what is whoredom mm-hmm. versus not being a whoredom or a whore or what was being, uh, you know, into this, that case. That right. One, one side is. But you're still you're subscribing to that. What's that? that you're yeah. subscribing to the law that man says women are whores and men aren't. Fence with that, you know why? Because I just don't know why. There, there's, I, okay. don't, I don't think it should be a law. Mm-hmm. I just think that men has instilled it into their religions and the customs of saying that's for them, and okay. practicing it in their cultures and saying if you sell your body, you're a whore. But the men who do it, we're just polygamists. We're just, you know, we're. Uh, you know, because they're practicing it. They're, they're taking care of these women. You know what I'm saying? They're 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 um they're having children with them. And, okay. You know, around the world, and they're not. Saying, we're whores. <laughs> we're not called that word <laughs> per se. Okay. We're labeling it something yeah. different. Okay, cut and dry, real quick. Don't even think long on it. Don't give me a long set out speech because I'm asking both of you this question. All right. Three, two, one. All right. <laughs> All right, right now, woman, woman, not a whore, woman to a whore. Number, now, what number? Give me a number. Two. <laughs> God dang. Outside of marriage. Outside of marriage. Oh my! Let me put my foot again. This, this Michelle, is a wrap. Give me, this is a wrap. Give me, give me a number. Like I should have led with you. you need a give me a number. You need a chassis. Michelle, okay. <laughs> male, okay. <laughs> male or or female? Whore. Whoredom starts. What number? I say at least about fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. Fifteen. Oh, he said. You said two. You didn't even get. That might still be a virgin at that stage. Like you ain't even. You you you. Wow. Fifteen men. First of all, fifteen times you had sex. What partners we're talking about? It's a number he threw out. (laughs) (laughs) A woman having fifteen partners. But why is it? Numbers you don't get. You, you don't want to have your daughter having fifteen dudes. Of course, I don't it. want but that. But I, fifteen, 15 is not guys, big. Your daughter? It, now she was Ooh, she was eighteen if, and she had fifteen. Yeah, that's bad. But over time, it's gonna happen. Like I don't know why people. Why do you want? Just, okay, this is the problem. <laughs> I don't want nothing. He is winging on fifteen. Yes. Listen, boy, you, you ain't ever gonna have another relationship. <laughs> <laughs> You, you have to raise, raise your, your wife. Right. To you, be a wife. You have to find right. a seventeen-year-old and, and raise her. I'm not. I'm not. It's just I'm not having her to think like that. But it's just, it's just if you, you don't have yeah. how many girlfriends. Fifteen is a lot to you for real. I gotta have for a woman. Yes. My God. <laughs> I, can't. I gotta touch. I gotta. Woo, my mother. Be Jeff, you are not even being realistic. No, I'm gonna call Miss Noah right think. now. I'm gonna call yeah. my mother. She's ask, 90 years old. Ask, She's gonna give a heart attack. 15. She's gonna be like, "Where you talking to? You know what? She's gonna probably be like, "You trying to give me a heart attack?" Like, attack? Yo, like, just wait. Like, for real. I mean, if my you just played a law of averages. Listen, my mother got married in 1955. <laughs> I know there's a long time. 1955. And that was the only man she ever been with until he Dad, passed away 13 Dad, years ago. My Dad, father passed away in 82. My mother was 90. Unicorn. Okay? Huh? Unicorn. My mother was born in 59. <laughs> okay? Your mother got married four years before my <laughs> My mother was four years old when your mother was already grown and so married. What I'm saying though. is that that's the That average, is a long time ago. But that was the average marriage. Uh, 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 uh. Expectation, yes, between those people in the twenties all the way to the fifties, <laughs> right? But you in the twenty twenties, <laughs> not the nineteen twenties. That's literally a hundred years ago. So you're saying what has changed 
to make you think that it's okay. One hundred okay years, gang. It's okay to have One, a No, no, Michelle K. Something has changed. One hundred years. <laughs> Did you hear him? He said the twenties, as in the nineteen twenties. No. And this is 2024. No, but a hundred years. What customs makes it so better now? Nothing. Or it's okay. No, nobody. To have 15 bodies as a check. We're not condoning it. My God. We're not condoning it. It's just saying that it's going to happen. Because if I started having sex at 17. Let's just say, oh, yeah. And I done had like four boyfriends. What you think? I'm not sleeping with none of them. And we have long term relationships. Hey, listen, I grew up with crackheads in my neighborhood smoking crack. I didn't want to think I was going to pick up a pipe and smoke crack. It's going to happen. Well, I don't know about that, though. No, because we're talking about sex. We're not talking about yeah, I'm just saying, any, that's, that's pleasure. Just let's... Okay, let's take this. Some people smoke yeah. weed for yeah. pleasure. Y'all want to keep going? Y'all want to cut this for part two? Man, I have some things to do. This is getting juicy. This is getting juicy. This is getting juicy. She said 15 bodies for a little girl. No, not a little girl. Over daughter. Lifetime. We're talking about We're now. Talking over about lifetime. lifetime. So I'm what you want to tell you every time she breaks up? Go ahead, girl. Go down in the next one. No. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want my, my kids to even. Look, if you're going to find something, take your time. Don't just run out there. But she's going to date different guys. They go get to the next girl, He ain't do nothing for you anyway. He was, no, I, I will that, not dude. do that. I will not teach my child All that. Right. Right. I, they have sense. But I'm just saying. It's going to happen sometime well, Because they break up with Why is it going to happen? Well, it's not going to happen But if they have more than one relationship all the time, They're not celibate These women are not celibate They're not When they get into these different Your relationships Your child Not my Ooh, I I'm talking kidding. about <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. Kidding. I was I was mm, Okay what about I know right. not, yeah, not, not personal I don't oh, think okay, he meant that no, I'm, saying, I'm hoping he ain't making that I way I meant to say What about your child Training your child <laughs> In a certain manner but she ain't gonna be out there. And I do, and I talk, but they they hard headed these times. These kids don't listen. They do what they want to do. Your father's like, all supposed I can do, to be reinforcing whatever you say. Well, now say that, again, though. Though. say that again. Say that again. Your okay. father should be okay. reinforcing. So if whatever if, you think that's. You but know, if you don't have that co- uh, connection uh, uh, like that, and they don't believe like that, that's then the how can you that, do? That's the problem. Let's get. Let's really get to the problem. The females in the household. That think they want to run this house, not you personally, not anyone personally here. I'm saying in general, that want to run this house according to it's gonna happen or it's okay, don't worry about it. You're not stern, and then yeah, it happens because you're not stern and you're not being, you know, restrictive to certain parameters in your household. And men are doing it too, yeah. But I'm just saying, women. But if you are, are doing saying it, that it's okay, well, it's not okay. See, I never told my daughter that never want children. She wasn't even thinking like that. She was even trying to figure out what she was going to do with her life. So it was not like she's out there just fooling around with different men. She wasn't even fooling with them like that until she ended up falling with somebody and things happened. So I can't discredit her for that. Yeah, if you if you done it, you done it. But don't make it a habit. I'm not going to just tell her, girl, just go ahead. You did it once. It doesn't matter. But I'm just saying from when they jump from different relationships to different relationships... <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying like your child? He's still on the 15. No, he's funny. He's like, oh, let's go again and do what you want to do. That's no, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying <laughs> I, I let her know that, hey, just be responsible about the things you do. You don't have to go and sleep with everybody that you with, but when you're in a relationship, like 9 out of 10, you're going to sleep well. But what about the responsibility of training your child, male or female, to be a husband or to be a wife? I don't see what's wrong with that. I, I didn't say there's nothing you, wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with so that. But in today's say, society, oh, it today's doesn't... Society, oh. Because in today's society, it doesn't take like it used mm-hmm. to. Because they're every, the kids you today they are exposed... You my parents and your, par- your grandparents and people from the 20s were growing up. They Dude, all those things No, going on. no, 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 no. More than what's no, going on. No, you see all this? This? They did not have this. They did not have access to the mm-hmm. pref plethora of the information that we do they didn't have you know what i'm saying even when we were kids if we wanted to see risque stuff or porn and stuff what did we have to do we had to go try to find a magazine or a videotape a vhs go to the peep show downtown you know what i'm saying I didn't go to the peep show. Oh, okay. The, oh, you didn't, okay. You just knew the spot. I didn't know. Okay. That's the phrase. But peep show downtown. But literally, that's the phrase. Every I, I kid now, <laughs> it, it's to the point now that literally kids today, they'll be two years old, three. Some of them are even younger than that, 
and they have supercomputers <laughs> on the side of their face. Mm -hmm. Like, do you realize that each one of our devices oh, in this yeah. room now like are literally 10 times more powerful mm -hmm. than the computers that were used to get the first spaceships to the moon? Mm -hmm. 10 times more powerful, the phone you got right now. The space, the capacity for storage and the, the processing power is 10 times more powerful that you used to like look up little silly videos. It's 10 times more powerful than what was needed to get to the freaking moon in the 50s and 60s. Well, Sputnik was the first one to uh, go around the orbit the Earth. But to get to the moon, they literally got to the moon on 290K processors. We're on freaking gigabyte processors. Like, it's not even close. And these two-year-olds are playing with these today. So they have access to data and information that our parents and grandparents did. But it's still up to you to control that. Yes, it's up to us to control the household, but you can't control once they step out the household. You can't control once that device is in their hand and they know how to manipulate that device. So what do you do if you're saying, okay, well, we can't control these things and technology is going to keep advancing to the point where, you know, they can download or, or pull up anything and what do you do to control? You literally do the very best you can and hope for yeah. the best. That's all That's you can because yeah. you can't stop it. Mm -hmm. because you can't. Just really instill it in them. The values. And so pray it sticks. Future, mm -hmm. Pray it sticks. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying the future of our society in the West here in the U.S. is doomed or all Western Western nations? According to the way that our grandparents did things, it's dead. Yeah. It's dead. It, it, it'll never be that again. The kids so now, is, to, they are crazy now. Exactly. They, they, it's dead. So you're saying, it's dead. so there's 1.5 billion uh, in East Indians. It's about another 1.2, I think. I think I said it backwards. I think 1.5 billion Chinese. Or 1.5 Indians. 1.5? Yeah. Okay. There's, um, what is it? At 8 billion people on the planet right now? Right. And a majority of them are like in India. China and China. India? Right. So it's a little bit more than one boy do. <laughs> it's a lot of more people in those maybe. two places. But like China has the most people per right. square mile, right. and or India has the most people per square mile, and China has the most people of any continent. Gotcha. So, well, what those, those numbers two, are, I don't remember exactly, but well, that's where we at. Billions of people within those concentrated countries. Those mm -hmm. countries now, they still got an order. They still like India itself has a dowry. Like you have to have a certain cow, or horse, or certain money, jewels. And they pass on certain traditions to this next right, generation. Right. And they practice in it to this right. day. Right. But that is not. 4,000 years old. Right. But you that is not their about, whole culture. You, you, you're saying the majority of the world now is doomed. Oh, that's it. But First of all, your, this stuff. your question was so is Western society doomed? So I was answering that question. Okay. I was saying Western society, as far as what our grandparents had, is dead. Absolutely. Now, if you start bringing up what other cultures and other places are doing, you got to look at how they're being governed. China is a communist state. Sure. So their government has a, a strong control over what they do and how they do things. They literally regulate how many kids mm -hmm. you're allowed to have. Right. They should do that. Yet, they still have access to the technology that we have and that everybody else has. So they still have access to porn. They still have access to all the debauchery that we do. Now they might traditionally still do things when it comes to marriage or what they can and can't get away with it legally, but they still do the debauchery. I'm not saying they don't do the debauchery. You know how much that. Chinese porn I've watched in the last? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, don't you dare take that from me. No, I'm not. I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm just serious. But anyway, so. <laughs> oh no! And just to let you know, Indians don't shave nothing. So I ain't even gonna go there. But the point, I'm to make, <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is, if you're talking about tradition, okay, we got as far as tradition. 
But that doesn't mean that because some people within their country are sticking to tradition doesn't mean that they're not going to eventually get to where we are now because technology is banging at them. It's banging sure, at them. Sure, sure, sure. So, I've seen, yeah, there's a lot of our culture seeping into there, especially when we were in Japan for the that one yeah. year that we were uh, in the military. Oh, you see it. It's just, you know, it's been influenced. Right, so trying to go back on the, the morals and stuff that our grandparents had, it, it's the dinosaurs are gone, man. Yeah, I just, I just, I just think they that are. Um, this line drawn between whoredom versus uh, but two polygamy. <laughs> two. Uh, they don't have a chance. <laughs> <but. laughs> Ooh. There's a there's a female male. So the third knock, she's a whore. Mm-hmm. She'd be forty years she's old, slept with third person, and she a whore. Well, if she's doing it outside of her of a marriage bond, I keep going back to that. I gotta go back. Okay, to so if she hasn't been married and she's forty three years old and she slept with three dudes, if she married those guys, no, if she didn't, she's a whore. Mm. I want to say no, but then I got to say yes. You know what? We got to do a part two. Because this doesn't make no sense. Show up. Wow, I can't wait for this one, too. I'm just like, I've been past three. (laughs) Shit. Shit. I didn't make it out my teens. I ain't going to say it when you Shit. There's more to, there's more, um, so much to preserve from the woman's side of it. That's why they give. That's why men are so harsh to the women with these but different But y'all are the screwing women like that. Y'all are doing. Y'all are making us to be that hoe. That's it. So yeah, you are right. Here say that. Okay. Both of y'all tripping. No, but it's Both true. Y'all tripping. It's true what she's saying. No, it's not. The men are making. The no, it's not. Oh, no, yes, it's not. They are? no, it's not. Why? No, it's not. No, it's not. Because everybody knows. Women gatekeep the coochie. That's true. Men, okay. just as what I'm saying, men do stuff to get the coochie. Right. And, but women control who gets it and who doesn't. Women know right off the gap when she sees a man if she oh, want to well, sleep yeah. with him or not. Oh, yeah. So women control who gets it. But men still do things to get it. So what I'm saying is we both is guilty. Yeah. It ain't y'all are doing it. It ain't y'all are doing it. We doing it to each other. Yeah, that's my. Listen, in some, in some, it's a game we all play. In some communities, yeah. in some communities, the women that with the most children are doing it with the few good-looking men. Because it's usually, <laughs> yeah, it's usually the higher quality. Then, then the you hear a buzzer. <laughs> the most attractive, I should say. That's why I have more kids. No, that one guy sometimes usually have two sets of women, right? That have children. The one that looks good? It's usually that male that you guys look for that has the quality that you're looking for. Six is, three, right. six figures, right. you know, the, the, the triple sixes. Yeah. <laughs> the most six handsome. Three, six figures. You're not, you're not just going with the average dude. Six stage vehicle. Oh, right, exactly. Not look at you, you said it. Look how fast you said it. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, but. So, I, my whole. My whole point of saying that is that these um, communities are not full of men having, you know, making all these girls hoes. Like, it's just a, a man, it's like 20 men to 20 women. It's usually one guy to 10 women that he had sex with all 10 women. And he might get three, of the, three out of that 10 pregnant to have a child, right? So it's not like you're saying is that so it's not, not an even number. You said it's an even number of women and men having sex. And That's not what I said. I said we're equally as guilty. I'm saying yeah, that one group is not making whores yeah. while the other isn't. I'm saying we're making whores together. But Regardless if it's one man sleeping with 10 women or 10 women sleeping with 20 men, the second that one person sleeps with one person and if those one, two people go sleep with somebody else, by your standard, they should become whores. Mm-hmm. Both of them. It, because it, they both slept with but it depends, two people. And it depends on if it's a marriageable situation versus I just want to have free sex. To both. True. True. 
Why are you rolling your eyes and looking over to the creative side of your brain? Why are you accessing the creative instead of logic? I don't think you believe that. I, the women. <laughs> you don't believe that shit. <laughs> okay, we we gonna pick this up on part two. Where we good? Yeah, we gonna do on part two. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely with it. Are you in it? Yeah, I'm in it. Come on, get over it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't uh, forget don't to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh my Jesus! Yeah, we go. Let me get these out of here before Michelle K runs runs the truth seeker over with her car because <laughs> he because he wilding. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, the 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 Save thoughts and opinions water. of the truth seeker might not necessarily align with the thoughts of Connect Three Hundred and Sixty or its affiliates. Practice whoredom. <laughs> That's the better way and, of society. And on that note, we're going to get ready to get up out of here. I've been King Bear in the building. Michelle K. Wow. Why you With the iPhone. Like <laughs> wow. I'm just a truth seeker. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the truth seeker. Mm. Make sure y'all tune in for part two of this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely put them comments down. And we're going to see you for part two of this combo. Mm-hmm. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>